So this question is based upon the same founding or foundational information from question 17, right? So we have a supply function, we have a demand function. We know that P represents price. And let's see what the question is actually asking for. So it says, at what price will the quantity of the product supplied to the market equal the quantity of the product demanded by the market? Well, this is the supply, this is the demand, we're asked to figure out when, what happens or what the P value is, right? So I'll just say P equals when they're equal, right? So basically when S of P equals D of P. Let's do the math on that. So S of P is just one half P plus 40. This is equal to D of P, which is 220 minus P. So I'm going to combine like terms in order to figure out the value of P. So I'm going to add P to both sides. So one half P plus P is technically one and a half. I don't want to have a mixed fraction though. So I'm going to call this 1.5 P. And then I can also subtract 40 from both sides in the same line here. So 40 is gone there and 220 minus 40 is 180. So then I divide both sides by 1.5 in order to isolate my P value or my price. So P is equal to 180 divided by 1.5, which when you throw that into your calculator, you will find it gives you a value of $120. So P equals 120, and therefore choice B is the correct answer.